What's going on everyone, this is Vandal Designs, and today I am bringing you the very first episode in this new series of tutorials that I'll be bringing you to basically, uh, for beginners to get you started on Photoshop and build up your uh, knowledge, and for more advanced users, you can pick up some tricks and some uh, cool little uh, techniques that you may not know. So since this is the first episode, we will be starting from the very basics, which is setting up Photoshop and optimizing your interface in order to really uh, get the most out of your time and your work. So let's get going, shall we? So right here, we're in the uh, opening interface for Photoshop. You can see right here all of my recent projects. If this is your first time in Photoshop, you're not going to have anything here, obviously, because you don't have any recent projects. So. Uh, the very first thing that we're going to look into is customizing all of your panels. So I'm just going to create a new document, uh, just a blank normal document right here. And this is my current setup. And if we go into Essentials, this is how Photoshop should look by default. Now, obviously, if you are a Photoshop veteran and you've got your own interface set up that you're very comfortable with, stick with that. Uh, if, on the other hand, you are new to Photoshop, you've never used it, uh, I recommend setting it up as I'm going to show you, which is exactly how, how I have it set up, and that way it'll be much easier for you to follow along. And of course, even if you're used to Photoshop, you can always uh, change it to what I'm about to show you or incorporate elements from it if you so desire. Now the first thing we're, we're going to want to do is uh, close down this Learn tab because you'll be learning all your stuff from me. You'll also uh, want to take this Libraries panel and just drag it out and put it in this little side toolbar right here. All right, so that's going to give you a bit more space for the canvas. And then you wanna, you're going to want to take the Properties and do the same thing right here. And then I'm just going to drag the Layers panel right up. I like having the most space possible for the layers. Uh, that way I can really see, uh, you know, everything. And then go to Windows and click on Action or Actions. Go to Windows Window again. Go to Brush Settings. Now Brush Settings and Brushes is going to pop up in that little sidebar. Uh, right click on the Brushes one and click Close. I don't really see the need to have that personally. Go down, click on character, same deal, two are going to pop up, so you're going to want to right click on paragraph and click close. Then go to window again, and select uh, layer comps. You're going to want to keep both of those. And then go into layers again, extensions, and Adobe color themes. Now, I also have the Getty Images plugin installed, you can download that, uh, just google it. Uh, I like to have it in here as well. And that's it. Now once you're here, uh, I like to just rearrange these. You can like drag them, uh, just do as I'm doing. You don't necessarily need to do, do this. I just like having them in a particular order. And you can also group them like this. So as you can see, I'm grouping my color themes, Getty Images, and my Adobe libraries all together. Uh, and this is how I like my little sidebar look. Then I can go into Windows once again and click on uh, Styles right down here. And that's going to pop up next to the Adjustments. And then uh, I'm just going to click back on Adjustments. Styles I rarely ever use, but it's good to have it there just in case. Now it is time for the shortcuts. Uh, the shortcuts, I've got a few custom ones. Uh, they're very important. Um, and they really just help uh, speed up your workflow and uh, basically make it so that these these functions and actions that would uh, usually take you like a few clicks, a few you know drop down menus, but that are used very uh, often. Well, I have those just you know at, at the click of one or two buttons. So you go to edit and scroll all the way down to keyboard shortcuts. You want to make sure that uh, where it says shortcut four, it says application menus. And then from there, uh, you go down to edit. Scroll down until you see transform right here. Scroll down a little bit again. Under transform, you're going to see warp. I've said that to command W. Once you've said that, you're probably going to get a pop-up saying Command W is already being used. 
Uh, in that case, you want to click OK and basically overwrite it. I have flip horizontal set to F5 and flip vertical set to F6. Now those are simply because those are my available keys on my little compact Mac keyboard. Uh, you can set these to whatever you want. I like having it F5 and F6. Then scroll all the way back down and you can minimize the edit tab. Then go to layer and scroll down. It's, there's going to be quite a bit of scrolling to get to this one. Once you've found these smart objects right here, right underneath there's going to be convert to smart object. That is shift command O, which by default is uh, opening Adobe Bridge, I believe, since I never use that shortcut ever. Uh, and meanwhile, I convert, convert layers to smart object uh, multiple times per document. Uh, obviously, this is a much more intelligent uh, assignment of shift control or command shift O than uh, than you know the, the default one. So keep on scrolling after you've done that and look for rasterize. And I've set this one to command shift R. And oh, by the way, uh, for PC users, when I say command, uh, for you it's control. And when I say option, that means alt. So scroll all the way back up to layer and you can minimize that and then go to filter. And for last filter, hit command F. Um, this one's also, this one's more of a personal preference, I just like, that's the old way to do it, uh, and they changed it in CC 2018, and I just keep changing it back, back to Command F at every update, because I don't like the uh, new one. Now it's time for the brushes. So, uh, just hit B on the keyboard, that's the shortcut, and you can go up to the upper left hand corner right here and click on that little drop down arrow. And here you will show, uh, you will see all of the brushes. These are all my brushes. You can actually download them in the description. There's going to be a zip file or a zip, uh, a download to a zip file. And you can uh, just unzip that and then go to the little cog wheel, scroll down to import brushes, and then just find the, uh, I believe it's an ABR file. And uh, right there, you're going to have your brushes. Now, your brushes might not look like this. As you can see, I have the brush name and brush stroke disabled and the brush tip enabled. That is how you get this little thumbnail preview like I do right here. And now finally, we're moving on to actions. If you click on that little play button right there for the actions, uh, I'll have two uh, downloadable actions along with the brushes. Set soft brush, which will simply, uh, whenever I personally have it set to shift F6, that will set your brush to a soft round brush. Uh, that's very useful, it saves you a lot of time. You can click on those little three bars right here and go to action options to change the uh, keyboard shortcut to uh, one of the function keys. Also uh, in that uh, little drop down, you can also import actions from there. The other one is sharpening. That is something that you lay on top of the entire design, which uh, just sharpens it all. We'll go over that in a future uh, future tutorial, but for now just know that you can download these two and import them there, which is very useful. So that is going to do it for setting up Photoshop and really just optimizing your interface as well as your shortcuts and your your, your actions, your panels, everything uh, in order to really uh, maximize your, uh, your, your time and optimizing uh, your workflow. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, and uh, really looking forward to uh, continuing these tutorials and getting deeper and deeper and more uh, complex and technical with uh, these design techniques. So hopefully you liked it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.